Today, an estimated 175 million individuals are affected by chronic venous disease, CVD, in the U.S. Of those people, 50 million have varicose veins, and another 50 million have more advanced venous disease symptoms. While risk of CVD increases with age, it can begin as early as adolescence. It's also important to know that visible vein disease is far more than just a cosmetic problem. In fact, medical care for CVD represents a significant and growing need within the healthcare system. Normally, healthy leg veins contain valves that open and close to assist the return of blood back up to the heart. Sometimes, the valves can become damaged or diseased and can no longer close properly. As a result, blood can leak back through the valves and pool in the lower leg veins instead of returning back to the heart. This can lead to chronic venous disease. Many times, CVD goes undiagnosed and undertreated. Why is this? This could be for any number of reasons. Far too often, people think that leg cramping, discomfort, or swelling is just a part of the normal aging process, or they dismiss visible venous disease as a cosmetic concern. Those who receive treatment from a vein specialist may get relief from their symptoms and avoid worsening or advancing of the disease over time. CVD commonly affects veins in the legs, Varicose veins occur about three times more often in females than in males. It's important that men still get evaluated if they are having symptoms or suspect they are at risk. Risk factors that contribute to CVD include family history of varicose veins, being over the age of 50, female sex, deep vein thrombosis DVT or history of blood clots, multiple pregnancies, obesity, smoking, and lifestyles that include long periods of standing or sitting. How do you know if you or someone you love has signs of venous disease? Symptoms often occur in the lower legs and can include spider veins or varicose veins, raised or visually noticeable veins, heaviness, aching, tightness, leg fatigue, discomfort, pain, swelling, leg restlessness or muscle cramping. Other late-stage signs are numbness or itching, a change in leg skin color or texture, and wounds or venous ulcers. Did you know that 70 to 90% of all lower extremity ulcers are estimated to be caused by venous disease? In the U.S., 4.8 million people are estimated to suffer from venous ulcers. When it comes to your health, the more informed you are, the better equipped you'll be to take action. Once your vein specialist has identified that you have venous disease, you can begin exploring various treatment options. One of the vein treatments offered is called radiofrequency ablation, or RF ablation. The Venclo system uses RF ablation technology to treat refluxing veins. RF ablation has been established as a CVD treatment option for refluxing veins for more than 20 years and is the predominant approach. What makes the Venclo system different? While some vein catheters can be reprocessed more than once and used on different patients, the Venclo system is a disposable, single-use device, meaning that it is not reprocessed, cleaned, or used again on another patient. It is also not a permanent implant. Because the Venclo system is a minimally invasive procedure, it can be performed right here at your vein specialist's clinic. Procedure highlights for your RF ablation procedure with the Venclo system will include your vein specialist inserting a small catheter into the diseased vein. This is much like getting an IV. They will use local anesthesia during the procedure. They will then advance and activate the catheter to deliver targeted heat, RF energy, causing the diseased vein to shrink and close they will slowly withdraw the catheter to treat the entire diseased vein. Once treatment is completed successfully, blood flow will naturally reroute towards the nearby deeper and healthier veins to return to the heart. RF ablation technology can also potentially reduce post-operative pain and bruising in patients compared to vein stripping or laser therapy treatment. While individual results may vary, 
Patients can typically resume normal activities within a few days of an RF ablation procedure. Please consult with your vein specialist prior to resuming normal activities. If you think you may have signs or symptoms of CVD, ask your vein specialist if RF ablation treatment with the Venclo system is the right procedure for you. To learn more, visit venclose.com today.